I am challenging you to come up with the best 3D printer duct design. This video is really meant to be a quick overview of the challenge. I'm going to have it all in writing as well in the video description there and some links. And I'm also going to have a link to my Discord channel as well if you plan on competing. I'm going to be using this printer for the challenge. This is the FL Sun T1. And regardless of what people think of the printer or of the company, it is an incredibly fast printer and has the CPAP style of fan. And it does not have an auxiliary fan at all. So we're going to be relying on only one fan to do it all. Now, if you're just watching this video and you haven't already seen the series leading up to it, I will have those videos up there. You might want to check those ones out first just to see the progress we've made so far and the cool ways that we've been testing the ducts. Let's jump right into the contest rules. So one entry per person, please. Now, if you have more ideas, that's great. We can always do another round or two even. I'm going to need a name for your creation. I need your name or at least a nickname. This needs to be your design. You need to have designed it yourself. It needs to fit onto the FL Sun T1. Now you can use the template I provided in the video description. This printer has lots of room around the effector and has quite a bit of freedom for lots of different design possibilities. It's best if it can be lighter than 20 grams if we're printing it with something like ABS or even polycarbonate. You can submit it to my email address, which is going to be right down here below and also in the description there. I'd like to give everybody enough time to get their designs done. So if you can submit it no later than September 10th of 2024. I'm still working on finding the absolute best test to perform and I'd like to upgrade some of my testing equipment as well. But for now, I think each duct is going to have a 10 minute or less speed benchy, a high speed severe overhang test, a high speed bridge, which will be along the X and the Y axes. All of these tests are going to be done with gray or brown bamboo matte PLA filament and very harsh lighting to show as many defects as possible. At some point, if the designs become too tough to tell that there's a clear winner, we're going to look at adding some more advanced testing and having maybe the community weigh in and declare who will take the top spots. All of the tests will be performed on the same printer with the same brand of filament, color, dryness, and the door will be closed on the printer. And I'm going to turn the exhaust on just to get a little bit of air circulation as well. That's going to minimize as many external factors as possible. In the case that there are too many submissions to get through, hopefully there are quite a few, I'm going to break it up into two or three videos just to make sure each design gets some time on camera. If I missed anything in this video, I'm going to make sure to have it clearly and simply written in the rules below. Now I'm going to be submitting a design for the competition as well, just for fun. And I think you guys are probably going to destroy my work, but I want to try anyways. The winning designs will receive my praise and I will formally declare the winners and admit my defeat. That is if you can beat my design. For the rewards, BeatShoe has been good enough to sponsor the challenge videos and is going to be helping us with some of the prizes. They specialize in high quality and well engineered 3D printer upgrades like the Panda Jet, the universal CPAP fan shown in my previous video, and lots more 3D printer upgrades for the most popular printers out there. And I'll have a link down in the description below if you'd like to check out their stuff. And PCBWay will also be helping it with some prizes. Now, if you have a design and you need it professionally made, they are your one stop shop to get it done quickly and get it done right. They do plastics, they do metal as well. They do CNC machined and they do 3D printed and their online quoting and ordering is as smooth as the inside of a 3D printer duct should be. I will also be providing additional prizes myself. So all in all, we should have quite a few really cool and useful prizes. And some of them will be one of a kind just for the winners. If you don't want to compete and you just want to follow along, subscribe and hit that notification as well. We are going to come up with some awesome designs that have never been seen before. And then the end game really is to take any old or new 3D printer and bring the cooling up to the next level. Now, if you have a really good idea and you don't just want to give it away, consider posting it on Maker World or Printables and protecting it. Or you can consider making a slightly worse version that just looks terrible, but still functions really well as a kind of a dark horse of the competition. I'm looking forward to this and I hope you are too. So let's have some fun with it and make some progress too so we can find the best possible 3D printer part cooling duct out there. Thanks for your time and I will see you on the next one.